Well, hello there humans of these other things. Hope you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. If you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushkin. Today's video is a 7K907 game. And then I'm going to show the armor profile. I'm going to talk about the tank a little bit over the top of the gameplay. And I want to specifically say that this, this video is not inspired by the 7K game. It is inspired by the fact that this is a tank that is very, very good. It's legitimately one of the best mediums in the entire game. Uh, and this game happens while I have horrific ping. You're going to see me bouncing around all over the place. Uh, and in the next update, the current open test lists this tank as receiving buffs. Uh, it's going to get a little bit of an armor nerf. Apparently an armor nerf. And I just really don't see how it works like that because this this is a tank that like I, as i said it is one of the best tanks in the game right now as a medium and i think it's just flat out one of the best tanks to drive in the game right now and the tank is going to be receiving an engine power and aim time improvement which is fine that's great to get that stuff in the aggregate but it's also going to get 10 shots more for ap and heat shells that's going to buff it to about 3,507 DPM, where it's at about 3,002, where is it? Where is it? 3,397 now. So it gives it another, I don't know, three or four percent DPM, maybe a little under. And it it just makes a higher alpha dose and gives it better aim time. And you can see the ping there, it's pretty wild. And I don't understand why that is. I watched his Royal Fatness's uh, video on this when I first got the tank because I wanted to know a little bit about how it played and fatness. I mean, fatness can flat out just make things sing. And I really agree with pretty much everything he said about it. It's a tank that has very much the best of both the tech tree Russian mediums. Um, what it's really got going for it for me is the low body height thing that all the Russian Mets have, which I adore. But it's also got something that I think is a little bit interesting. I thought that other heavy was on the other side of that hill, by the way. That's why I came back out. Um, it's got the feel to me of some of the mid-tier Chinese lights and meds because it's got that turret that is very much pushed all the way to the front of the tank, making your upper glacis a little bit steeper. Now, that has two effects. One is it turns the upper glacis into a less likely bounce zone. It's still able to get some bounces and all that kind of thing. That's great. But what it really does is it brings your turret to the front. It pushes it to the front, which means it's very, very easy for you to hide behind berms and small bits of, you know, hard cover and still get your turret out. And it turns a tank with seven gun depression into a tank that feels like it's got a lot more gun depression because it's so easy to get shots off as I just decide to trade. <laughs> because right now I've realized how much damage I'm on. I'm going to just chunk damage. And I just want to get this guy cleared so I can push to where I think the T110A3 is, which is hiding in spawn, doing nothing to nobody. Look, I'm already taken off. I'm like, mate, I'm out of here. I got to get I gotta get into the spawn. I need to get some more damage. Got to get the pump going. Nah, I'm just going to get the cap. Yeah, right, as if. <laughs> whatever um it's like the stb for me i don't understand why this is getting a buff they're saying they're going to thin the armor out but to me it's not really about the armor the armor profile is better hull down than you'd think like the turret can bounce some stuff but for the most part with this tank your primary armor is not being spotted or by being able to get under the gun line very quickly and very efficiently as we tick up into the 7k mark we also i'd like to point out there was an e50m on that team he gave me a shamrock gave me a shamrock lucky got lucky buddy like what are you talking about got lucky Seven thousand damage and i didn't do it in spawn mate i i came out i was i was doing the business i was on the flank um anyway 
Let's have a look at the armor profile too. We'll, I'll, we'll do that in just a second. And this is one where I really do feel, and I've got in trouble before, long time ago, I remember AMX 5100, used to have four uh, 300 alpha shots. And I said, that's ridiculous. It's broken. And it was, it was way too good. And when it got nerfed, now I guarantee you, Wargaming did not talk to me about that tank, but it then got nerfed and everyone started screaming at me, right, everyone. I mean, there was a, a a vocal population on the YouTube comments giving me crap about it. This is what I mean about the armor profile. That's an E50M. Look how tall that thing is, right? And look how far back from the front drive wheel your turret is. And I mean, and that's a tank that is actually more mid-mounted than the 907, but not hugely. And just the, the seven is so little that it's able to keep under the gun. And you see what I mean about how your seven degrees of gun depression, when you go over the front drive wheel, it really, it's really easy to match your upper glacis up against berms. It's also got this nine millimeter section on the front, on the sides for space armor. Underneath uh, that space armor, the actual sides of the hull, it's shaped like a UFO and they're very sloped. They're, they're very steeply sloped in. So that armor profile is deceptive. It's a lot like the T22 um, medium in that, that you'll sometimes, shots will go on the side and you'll be like, seriously, that didn't go in? What are you talking about? I mean, it's not that savage, but it is savage. It's already a very mobile, like look at, compared to that 50B who I've managed to run into, look how little it is. Like it's, it's a little water bug and that's its, genuinely what it's great for with a little bit more horsepower it's going to be spectacular it's already very mobile it has a 60 kilometer hour top speed uh and its effective horsepower per ton is 36 after taking in terrain resistance stats the t62a is 39 and it's got a five kilometer an hour top speed deficit compared to this i mean that's a that's a very nice package of of tank and we haven't even really talked about the other crazy stuff to do with this tank which is very t62a it's old school t62a it's got proper crazy dispersion and accuracy the the dispersion on the on the tank is 0.272 when you're running all the bells and whistles that's without a supercharge or anything i mean if you want to be stupid you can get it down to 0.245 which is wild uh and not only that it's also got very low shell velocity of 1015 meters per second but you're able to run the gunpowder mod on it which gives you a huge buff to your shell velocity and makes it very very viable as a sniper and you can take full advantage of that dispersion i i think this is this is a bad call i think of all the tanks that are getting adjusted and they are adjusting tanks they're not just buffing and nerfing they are taking away some armor from this tank like it doesn't worry me like honestly it's it's not the armor that's the problem on this tank it's a spitfire it's mobile it's vicious it's dpm is good enough and it's only going to get better you're going to get elevated up into that three and a half k dpm range your alpha is going to go up on a 105 millimeter eruption gun up to 320 you're still going to be able to be absolutely ridiculous with your dispersion at extreme ranges and you've you've got a little more horsepower coming so i think the 907 is going to be one of the most absolutely strong vehicles you can run i already see it getting run a lot by unicums uh unicum platoons on the asia server love this thing and with the demise of the tvp I still think the tvp is going to be viable i just don't think it's going to be as good as it is now which is like broke uh i think this is going to see an even bigger upsurge in popularity it'll be 907s and stb ones doing the business for all and sundry that's really what i think is going to be a big resurgence at tier 10. not that the stb one ever went away that thing is going to be wild uh you know the i've, I've just done a video actually on the patch update uh adjustments that happened today and I wanted to do this 907 video for ages because I've had this sitting on the project timeline. And wow, the STB1, it's going to be something else. Anyway, look after yourselves. Have a nice time on your weekend. Uh, stay safe on the battlefield. Remember to like the videos and subscribe. And as always, uh, bye for now.
Have a good one, team. Au revoir.